Comparing the cost and benefits, solar versus batteries. Let's start with solar. Six kilowatt solar system will produce 24 kilowatt hours of energy on the average day. So let's see how much that will save us in the first year. I pay 36 cents a kilowatt hour for my electricity. So if I was to self-consume all that solar energy in the first year, I would save 24 kilowatt hours times 36 cents times 365 days. That equals $3,153. Now, big caveat. That is assuming 100% self-consumption, which is almost never going to happen. So that's the best case savings from solar in the first year. Worst case savings from solar in the first year, assuming the solar system's working properly, is I export all the solar electricity. To do that, I'd have to switch off everything in the house except the solar system and export it all into the grid. I get paid 16 cents a kilowatt hour. So worst case, 24 kilowatt hours times 16 cents a kilowatt hour times 365 days equals $1,400. So the cost of that system is about, for a reasonable system, about $6,000. So I've paid $6,000 for my solar system. I'm getting best case, about $3,100 back in the first year. Worst case, about $1,400 in the first year. In reality, the number is going to be somewhere between the two based on how much you self-consume. Now let's compare that to batteries. Batteries are getting an enormous amount of hype at the moment. Here's a tweet from Bill Shorten. Now I quite like Bill Shorten, but Bill, you're being seriously misleading about batteries in this tweet, as are many politicians and mainstream media people. He's saying that this example here, this lady has saved 75% on her bills. It's gone from $2,000 to $500. And he's saying it's all down to the battery. It's not, it's almost all the solar, as we'll see in a second. So let's do the maths. Powerwall 2, one of the most popular batteries. It stores 13 and a half kilowatt hours of solar. How much does storing one kilowatt hour of solar save us? Again, I pay 36 cents per kilowatt hour for my electricity. So if I store my solar in my battery, one kilowatt hours worth, and I use that one kilowatt hour at night, how much have I saved? When I do this in front of 100 people, normally 99 people say 36 cents. No, I've saved 20 cents. And that's because by storing the solar in the battery, I've chosen not to export it to the grid and earn, in my case, 16 cents. So the benefit per kilowatt hour is 36 cents minus 16 cents equals 20 cents benefit for every kilowatt hour of electricity I put into it by day and use by night. So let's do the maths. 13 and a half kilowatt hours of storage. I'm saving 20 cents a kilowatt hour. 13.5 times 20 cents times 365 days a year will give me my absolute best case savings for a year from this Tesla Powerwall 2 battery. That's $985 a year. Now this battery, fully installed, will cost right now about $16,000. And the warranty on this battery is about 10 years. So the payback is a little bit over 16 years, absolute best case, but it's only warranted it for 10. Let's compare that with solar, compare the pair. Solar, I spend $6,000, I get between $1,400 and $3,153 per year back. That's a payback, best case two years, worst case four years, depending on how much I self-consume. Battery, I'm not even gonna do worst case, I'm gonna do absolute best case, which is that you're draining the battery the full amount every night, it's not degrading and it's 100% efficient, which is very, very optimistic assumptions. I'm spending $16,000, I'm getting back, best case, $900, $85 a year. That's a payback of well over 16 years for spending a lot more money. So solar is by far a better payback. Now what might happen if you are shopping for a battery 
is the solar salesperson might try to sell you solar and batteries at the same time, and then they will blend together those two paybacks. If you do the maths and you blend together a three year payback and a 16 year payback, the overall payback is eight years for the solar and the battery. The good solar salespeople will say, look, I know it's eight years together, but that extra $16,000 you're spending on the battery is actually making the payback much, much worse. You'd actually economically be better off just buying the solar and you'll save yourself a lot of money as well.